hard for women who know how to be funny. And our first guest makes me laugh on screen, she makes me laugh on stage, and she had me rolling while reading her new memoir titled, Leslie Effing Jones. <laughs> I love this book so much. Y'all, please welcome Leslie Effing Jones. <laughs> Black women, y'all are so gorgeous! Oh my God! Oh. Have a seat. Yes, baby, you know I'm glad to see you. Look at you, like, Girl, I know I look good, I look good! You look amazing. Because y'all have to understand, when we go and do stand-up together, like, yes. Leslie, you wearing jeans, you wearing, you know, T-shirt, I wear the uniform. Jeans. You wear the uniform, but, like, you, you, girl, thick thighs save lives. Look at look, this. Look at them, girl. Look at this. <laughs> For you. days, baby, for days. And this is what I love, because I have to say welcome to the neighborhood of the 50s, because you yeah, look, baby. you just had a birthday party. You turned 56. Where? What? Where? <laughs> yeah, and you know, you know, stop putting us in neighborhoods in brackets. Okay, you know all right. Saying? I am an essence. Okay. I am a, a fine bottle of wine. <laughs> You better believe it, baby. <laughs> y'all, you had the spirit. You know what we got. You do know you what like we got. Do you like it? Like 50, like yes. this is, I love being 50. Yes. I do. Yes, sometimes I want to be 37, but that's okay. cool. That's cool. You know, 37 was a nice age, uh, nice well, you even know, age. 37 you know. is good when you wake up in the morning. Yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? And, and You know, you can drink tequila, you exactly. know, that type of stuff. I don't know. <laughs> not these 37-year-olds. These 37-year-olds are paper now. OK. Y'all could not have partied like I did in my 30s. <laughs> And survive, baby. Okay. Yes. And you have survived so much. And I remember, because uh, we both love roller skating. You yes. were taking roller skating lessons. I was taking That's, roller skating. That's, I now remember that, Yeah, yes. you were doing it. It was in Glendale. We were at, at the roller skating ring. Like, how's it going for you? Because I, I heard Oh, I stopped angle. a long time I, ago. OK. Oh, I get it. I, I fell once, and I was like, you know what? This is not my ministry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to be good at everything. Oh, you know? Because every time I watched you, I was like, I think Leslie having problems, but I was too. Same I was time. Because you know, when you're younger, you don't care about falling. You don't. You don't care about falling on your butt, but I was like, man, please do not let me fall. That's it. Because I don't want to break nothing. It's all going to break like a shattered glass. <laughs> <laughs> My niece was like, what are you doing? And you made it through. But yes, I did. I man. love looking at you because we're both. I love looking at you. you it's just, it, you, I, you so, so yummy. Yo, you, wait. Y'all don't understand how strong this young lady is right here. Y'all don't understand <laughs> what Sherry done been through. And like, we have been in this business for a long, a time, long time and seen a lot of stuff. And Sherry was doing it before me. So, like, she opened it for me. Like, let me tell you, we have been through it. We have been through it. And look at you. And look at you. That's you. I love That's you. At you. I love you. I love you too. And I love this because, like I was saying, you single, I'm single, we're both ready to mingle. How has dating been going for you? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you get older, it's different because yes, it you don't care. And <laughs> um, you like, like I'm rich now. Oh! And, uh, Like, you know, I don't have to really put on the slut suit anymore. You know, I got, <laughs> I got a generator. <laughs> but when you, like, when you go through life, do you ever say, okay, what's a Leslie Jones type? You know what? I like mountain-looking dudes. I like the dudes with the beards and... and... <laughs> Shake Leslie's hand. Come give this. Come shake Leslie's hand. Have you met Marco G? Marco G. Yeah. <laughs> and she ain't letting him go. 
Uh, enchanté. <laughs> does like Ooh. climbing up mountains. He really Well, does. he ain't got the climb. <laughs> <laughs> I will come down the mountain for him. That's a... Woo! That's oh, a God. hunk of hunk of burning love. What's up, babe? And he has, he has a very good credit, just mm. to let you know that he's got great Man, credit. that made me kind of sweat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I have to talk to you about. Yes. I'm gonna tell you, I read Leslie Effing Jones, and for the, the, for the show, we had, put, we had to put red over the title. But <laughs> I have... okay. Y'all know what it is. You know what it is. But I'm gonna tell you, this memoir was so funny. It was funny, it was poignant, it was tender. I loved it so much. But like I said, we put red over the... Why the title of Leslie Effing Jones? It's because, like, it's like I've been doing this so, so long. Yes. And when anybody sees me or anybody meets me, they can be like, oh, man, Leslie Effing Jones. Like, it's always <laughs> that. So, so that's, that's, you know, I was like, what other title could it be? Because, oh. you know, I didn't used to use my last name. Really? I used to just go by Leslie. I just, for years, went by Leslie and was trying to be like Madonna, you know? Okay, so, okay. You know, oh, Whoopi Goldberg, and a booker was like, yo, I'm not putting just Leslie on the, on the, the thing. You got, what is your last name? And I was like, I don't want you. He was like, what is your last name? And I was like, I want to be like Madonna. He was like, and I was like, oh, Whoopi. And he was like, Whoopi's last name is Goldberg. <laughs> and he was like, Madonna, bitch, please. <laughs> He was like, what is your last name? And I was like, Jones. He was like, Leslie Jones? Oh, that's a famous name. And I've been using it ever and since. And you've been using it ever since. Yeah. It's so funny because, you know, uh, you're talking about, you're 56, I'm 56, mm -hmm. and we announced our Funny Over 50, where we're doing a nationwide search nice. for women um, over 50. And you became a cast member at SNL at 47 yeah. years old. Right. Now, now yes. Yeah, but I yeah, had been doing it like 35 years before that. So. You've been doing it for so long before yeah. that, but you said that being on SNL, because I loved you on SNL. We yeah. all did. It was like a double-edged sword. Right. So why was that? Well, because it is a, a job for younger, younger people. You know, mm -hmm. you go in and, you know, Lauren is smart to get them young and, and, yeah. and excited and enthusiastic and stuff. And these are 20, 30-year-olds, and they're like, yeah, we'll do anything. But I came in at 47 like... <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do what? I'm not finna jump off that. No. <laughs> no. Do y'all got AARP? No. <laughs> No, and, and then like some things like I'm not gonna be cold. No, I'm going home. No, you gotta feed me. Like stuff like that that yeah. they wouldn't say stuff about because they're like so grateful to be there. I'm like, nah, I'll go home. Yes. I'll go home. So, and you have to speak up. Look, you have to speak up. Some, especially black women, you have to speak up. Well, that's what I was gonna ask you because doing comp it, even doing stand-up comedy, even past SNL, and we know this because it'll be one woman on the bill and a bunch and 12 Oh, my other God. Men. How many times did I get in trouble by telling the promoter why, like, or I'll see a show with all men, I'll be like, why there's no woman on there? I don't all care if, if, if it's even a black woman. Why is there no woman on the show? And I would always get, oh, Leslie, you know, if you want to be on the show, I was like, I'm booked. But right. there's a whole bunch of women that you could be booking. Absolutely. Why are you not doing that? This is what I'm saying about, this is what I'm saying about speaking up. As far as us as yes. black women, like, forget the clapping. Yo, listen to this. Y'all gotta speak up. Listen, in this business right now, they still don't know that we need somebody to take care of our hair. Right. Or our makeup. Or, or the way... I'm a tall, six-foot, black, natural hair woman. Can't... I, listen, uh, white girls, don't get mad when I say this, <laughs> but you can't do my hair, though. <laughs> You, 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 I mean, I'm not saying that there's not some in the business that can't do it, but they are far and few right, between. Right, right. And, and we need to represent ourselves and we need to demand it. Stop being grateful. <laughs> yeah. This is so funny. And you're absolutely right. That's why yeah. I know why I got a talk show if, in my fi at 55 rather than in my 20s. Exactly. You know, because we would have burnt out, girl, because we party. <laughs> All the time. Y'all 20 year olds are too careful. I'm telling you. <laughs> but this is what I'm talking about, even partying and getting older because, yeah. and I love it. In, in the book, you talk about you wanted to, uh, you wanted your, to plan your funeral. You wanted your funeral a certain way. You wanted your funeral to be a party. You said you wanted a guest list. You wanted a seating chart at your funeral. You said in the book you wanted Jason Momoa, but not just Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa as Drago. That's who you wanted, Jason Momoa. You, you wanted that, Jason. 
Momo, you said you wanted Rihanna's background dancers, okay, at your funeral. Because, because listen, every time somebody famous die, they do a funeral that they want to do, and it be seven hours, and it don't be nothing that that person that's dead probably won't. Like, I, if you're gonna do a long funeral for me, let's make it a show. <laughs> but I would say, just like your birthday party was off the chain. And Leslie, by the way, invited people. She invited me and I said, well, she where's it gonna New be? York. And she said, I'm not giving you the address until you <laughs> RSVP. <laughs> but why not make it a party now as opposed to your funeral? Like, do the party, get Jason. Oh, because I'm partying all the way up to my funeral. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh no, at 78, I will start doing meth. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, what is Leslie doing again? Is she on a scooter in the mall? Yes. <laughs> I'm having fun when I get old. Well, this is what I say. Leslie, this show, this, this Leslie effing Jones, y'all gotta run to get this book. I've never laughed so hard and then been just cried. Oh, and just, the audio is just as good. The audio ain't really? nothing like the book. It's literally completely different because I started reading the book, right? And I'm reading my own story, so I started reading the book, and I was like, y'all, I know this story, and throw the book down and just tell the whole story, so the audio oh, so is it, way you different. Get, I need to get you the You gotta get the now. book, and uh, you Girl. need the book to follow the audio. <laughs> when I tell you, I wanna say thank you so much thank for you. being here. Thank I'm you. so, like, you I are just, you. I love you too, girl. I'm so proud you, of you. This I'm woman, so proud of you. I'm proud of you. No. Like, we're proud of each oh other. We have come up like, you in know the how to trenches. do this. Like, you know how to do this. Everything that she, the stand up and everything, like, isn't she good? Like, she, yeah. like, yes! I'm so proud of you! Leslie, ah. and I feel the same way about, except I will never follow Leslie on stage. Oh, so this stop is, it. This stop. Is that point. girl, no, she is funny. No, Sherry is I know funny. I'm funny. I no, won't we follow don't. you. Well, you know I'm crazy, though. Okay. I want to say Leslie's new memoir, Leslie Effing Jones. It is in stores now. And studio audience, I'm excited. You are all getting a copy. Yeah! Right here. Look at